She be a new price prediction. Google's Bard, which is their AI engine, is giving price predictions for Shiba Inu to hit certain milestones. You can see them here on the screen with me. That is two zeros, one, one zero, one, which is a penny, and then obviously 10 cents. Now, a penny is what we've been shooting for um, and what is you know basically held up as the ultimate objective and has been since I've been covering SHIB now for years. So let's take a look at the price of SHIB just to give us some context. Now, before we jump into this, obviously crypto continues to, to do its thing to be in this really tight range of, uh, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, not doing a whole heck of a lot right now, but uh, SHIB is trading currently at, let's count them, five zeros and then a number. Now, to give you some perspective, our all-time high is four zeros, eight, eight. So we are 10x away from uh, our all-time high, which I think firmly and fundamentally we can reach um, absolutely when we get to the Bitcoin halving. Because if you look at it in the context of this, before we get back to Google Bard's AI price prediction, if we can get Bitcoin to go to the number that pretty much everybody readily agrees with, that is $100,000 per Bitcoin, you know that the rest and all of the entirety of crypto is going to rise along with it. We would see Ethereum probably go north of $5,000, XRP going up dramatically, everything going up dramatically. So I think it's a pretty easy, easy um, statement or guess, if you will, because let's call that's what it is. For, for us to reach 4088 when we at least get back to where Bitcoin's 100,000. And if not, maybe 409 you know, and if even, even then crossing into 30 and then, the num and then a, a number from there. But with that said, that's kind of my two cents, right? And so let's take a look at what Google Bard says. We can get to 201. 101. Now, I'm going to say that I don't necessarily quite agree with this because right now, Google's Bard is saying that we could get to 201 um, in 2024 or even 2025. Now, that's the most aggressive um, AI price prediction I've ever seen. And by the way, that represents a 13,000 plus move up from where we currently are. So what do you think? Drop in the comments below. Would love to hear your opinion. Do you think that's reasonable? Um, that seems a little far-fetched for me, considering that we still have a massive amount of supply out there. Shibarium still has yet to prove how much it's going to burn or not, and all those kind of dialogue and questions that we've got. Now, there are, now Google's Bard uh, is saying that we could get to one zero, uh, basically our penny uh, target by 2033. That's obviously reasonable. I think that that's... That, that seems reasonable. If not, I think it could happen faster. The only, way we, the only way we could get here faster is if, again, we reduce supply, right? If we can cut supply dramatically, if we could burn hundreds of trillions of SHIB tokens, then we could get there. Again, we all know what what's you know what's there uh, as far as SHIBarium and, and that dialogue is still kind of developing. But then they're saying like, look, uh, 10 cents. 10 cents has never really been, in my opinion, been part of the discussion. You know, it's always been a penny. OK, so Google's Bard is saying that we could get to, uh, let's see, a penny again, staggering, you know, 58.9 trillion. I just don't see that in the cards here uh, to give you some context. The entire crypto market right now is a trillion. I mean, so do I really believe we can get to 10 cents with the current supply? No, I don't think that's reality. OK, so what do you think really about this number? you know, 201. I'm going to remind you that our all-time high is four zeros and an eight. That's our all-time high. So, you know, this one um, I think is possible, but do I really think it's possible in the context of maybe even going into 25? A lot of that, in my opinion, depends on what happens with the price and what happens with all of crypto. Okay. Now, some other, uh, another fact here is that when we reached four zeros, eight, eight, Shiba Inu's market capitalization was approximately $48 billion. That's what our market cap was at that level. Okay. And our market cap right now is 4.8 billion and change. Okay. Again, a 10 X scenario. Okay. So let's take a look real quickly at what's going on with SHIB as far as kind of the, the chart action. We've talked about this. This is where we're going to be for a while. Here's what I'm waiting on. I am waiting on the next momentum up 
indicator to come into play somewhere here. This is my software, X1 Algo. See, right now we're in a momentum down right here, but I'm waiting for this next momentum up because I want to buy SHIB uh, and I want to trade it because like, look, this is right here, a 12% move up to give you some perspective. You know, there's other ones that are back here. This one right here, when the momentum up fired here, this one right here. So that's all the way up another 20 plus percent. So this is what I'm waiting on right here. If you're interested in having this, this for yourself, you can get it, pick it up for yourself. There's a link down in the description below to get my software for basically where it costs you like literally a dollar a day. Oh, by the way, I have a 30 day, no questions asked refund policy. So there's no reason you shouldn't pick it up. If you don't like it. You can get a refund and there's a discount code down there that gives you a pretty dramatic discount off of that. You can use the discount code or monthly, quarterly or yearly options. Okay. So that's what I'm waiting on this right here. I'm waiting on, by the way, I'm waiting on the exact same thing for Bitcoin right here. You can see I drew this earlier. I was talking about this in a previous video. I'm waiting for the next one of these because notice that right here, we're in a momentum down for Bitcoin. So I want the, to see the next momentum up so that I can buy Bitcoin and then sell it because I'm not waiting till this comes into play. So wouldn't you like to have some insight into when to buy and sell any and all of your cryptos that you care about? Same thing for XRP. Again, waiting on momentum. Uh, up to signal so I can buy it and then have it go up dramatically, sell on the next momentum down and all those kind of things. That's what my software does, gives you insight into when to buy and when to sell because it's not selling when you lose all that money. Like right here, this momentum up is about 68% right here where my mouse is. But if you would have basically ridden that and then not sold and written it all the way down, you're looking at about a 37% loss. 66, you, you would have basically made 66% on your money right here. If you would have had, had my software bought and sold on the momentum down and then wrote it all the way down. So yes, there's other momentum down ups and downs here, but they were very short lived. See this momentum up, boom. And then it basically said, okay, it's time to basically sell for the exact same level you bought in and see right here. Okay. So these two, this was a, a market moving down. Now I'm waiting for it to move down and then to bounce back up, which I think probably will start to happen moving into the fourth quarter. So again, pick up the software. If you're interested, leverage it, use it for your own, um, you know, your own means to make money, by the way, you can do it with stocks as well. Look at this one for Apple. This is really cool right there. That's a 29 plus percent move up, 28% up move up. And right now you can see that we're waiting for the, another buy right here. We're in a momentum down. You can see it right here. We're in a momentum down. So I'm waiting on that momentum up to, to fire, to be able to buy some Apple stock as well. See ya. You can pick it up down there. 30 day refund policy. See ya. Bye.